Hi, welcome to the Staking Geek channel. Today we're going to discuss non-custodial Ethereum staking and the way to set up a validator through staking as a service with block staking. If you like the content, please subscribe, comment, share, like. That'd be awesome. Thank you. All right, so this is a video for people that hold 32 ETH or more that want to stake and manage their own keys. It, this is literally not for everybody. With the exchanges, it's a couple simple buttons and you're staking the ETH. With this, you're having to take a lot more responsibility. So that's really a disclaimer. I'm going to go through the entire steps on how to set up with block staking. I'm not recommending these guys. This is one option. First, you're going to need to download the app, the block staking app. So if you go over here to blockstaking.com backslash download, download the app for Windows. And once that's set up, it'll look like this. And you have options to sign in with different accounts or you can create a new account right with you could do an email and password with here you're just logging straight into your google account and this is the first step you'll see key vault so you're going to click on this and right now it's just aws so these other public clouds will come online at some point but right now it is just aws so you'll need to set up an aws account to get this key ID and secret access key and we're going to get into that there's a video tutorial if you want to watch it but I'm going to go through the steps so first you have to sign up with AWS so you're going to come over here to aws.amazon.com you can hit create account if you don't already have one and you just put your this is your root so this is going to be like the admin account and we're going to create a user under this root is not recommended to create one of those access key IDs and secret access key under the root user. You're going to create a different user under this root user. So there's the email. You can name your account, whatever you want. Verify your email address. And once that happens, you're going to go through five different steps. First, you're going to have to create a long password. So make sure that password is securely saved. Next, you're going to have to put in whether it's for personal or business, and you're going to have to complete your name and address, etc. The third step is for credit cards. So you're going to have to put in a credit card. They're just going to charge you, I believe, a dollar, pre-authorized a dollar. This is a free plan that you're signing up for. They're not going to charge you anything every month. And what this key vault is, is AWS is managing the keys that we're going to enter into the block staking app. And then... The fourth step is to confirm your identity, and the fifth step will be to choose a support plan, which you would just choose basic, which is free. You can also choose others, but we're not going to go into in-depth. We're just using AWS to generate that key that we need to set up block staking. All right, so, all right, so I've signed into my account. So I'm currently in my account. So first thing you're going to need to go is click IAM. And you're going to need to click, this is Identity Access Management, and you'll click that. I've already got it launched here, so I'll just click on this one. Okay, so I already have one user group and one user. You can set up a user group. So first you come over here to User Groups and just create a group. And you can call the group whatever your name you want, Group 2. And... You can scroll down, create group. So there we have two groups. Next, you want to create a user. So I've already created one, but here we go. Let's go through the steps. Staking Geek 2. You don't have to click this. Just click Next. And you're going to have to attach policies. And next, you're going to have to go to EC2. Let's so just do that. And you're going to scroll down here and click on this. Amazon EC2 full access. And you'll click next. And then you'll create user. All right, so there we go, Staking Geek 2. And then you can add that user to the group. So if you wanted to come over here and let's say I'm going to want to add 
user, I could do Staking Geek 2 to the group just to make it a little bit more organized. I'll add that one. All right, so we got the group set up with the user of Staking Geek. You already have the root user set up. You've saved your password. You've, you're have you going to need to set up MFA. So if we go over here, So next you would need to assign the MFA device. So you can use Google Authenticator or any other authenticating apps that are compatible here. My recommendation is to order a physical FIDO key and you can set that up with this here. If you don't have it, you can start with the Google Authenticator. Once you get that, you can change it. So next let's go over here to users. We want to create the access key id and secret key access so let's click on staking geek we'll go under security credentials okay this is where you're going to create your access key and you're going to pick application running outside aws they give you some information on best practices so don't store these keys on a computer as a file you're going to have to write them down, stamp them into metal. I mean, there's a lot to it, right? You're going to save them in safes. You're going to make multiple copies. You can put them in a safety deposit box. Obviously, if you're setting up more and more of these validators, you can get more secure, but never share it with anybody. There's, there's lots here. Like I said, this is not for everybody, but if you're going down this path and you're feeling confident that you can do this, you click Next. We'll just do a call at key one and you'll create the key and there you go. So with this, you're going to have to copy it and here you're going to have to hit right click and hit copy. It doesn't work for some reason if you do control C. So then you'll have to paste that in, go back, copy that. I can try to see if that one works and paste. All right, that looks good. We want to continue. And it'll verify that this is right. I guess it'll go up to AWS server. So Key Vault, this is just, you were using AWS to securely store our keys. This usually takes a couple minutes, depending on your internet speed. All right, we're going here. Come on. All right, here we go. All right, so... Key Vault created successfully. Make sure you verify your AWS account before generating those keys. So it'll send you email. And so just make sure you verify your account. All right. So next you're going to need to set a password. All right. So let's put in the password. You agree. You can read the privacy policy and license and service agreement. And You'll need to save your seed phrase. There's a lot to do here. So you made sure your, your secret key is saved. You got your password to get into this app. Now you're going to need to save your seed phrase. If you ever switch computers, you would have to import the seed so you can generate a new seed. Click to reveal. And then you'll need to verify that. So you're going to have to write it all down in multiple places and then re-enter it here all right now that's done so you want you could either test on prater but for the purpose of this i'm going to just stake on mainnet so now you're going to have to generate validator keys let's do that all right you're going to need to save these and you also need an additional address to set your rewards right so you're going to need a ethereum address whether you use a ledger or metamask so you're going to have to do that so i'll hit set so there's my validator all right i've already set up one validator there's where i put your the recipient address all right so there we go we're set up so for a limited time they're not charging you a half a eth the yearly fee to run this validator You'll need 32 ETH, obviously. So you'll hit continue to web deposit.
And you're going to have to connect your MetaMask, so you're going to need to send the Ethereum from wherever they are to your MetaMask. We'll click on there. All right, so now you'll need to connect your wallet. So we connect. You can use MetaMask, Ledger, or Trezor. You can click MetaMask. I have a little bit of balance in there. So you, like I say, you'll need to send it over to that. You literally click on I agree. It's free. You hit deposit. And then you'll come back here, go to dashboard. And once you send that, this will turn to a different status. And it'll take roughly a day or so before it approves it. And then I believe it takes, I'm not 100% sure, I believe it's almost two weeks before this gets approved and you become a validator on the Ethereum mainnet. So that's the steps to set up a validator with block staking, staking as a service to earn rewards. So you're going to get full rewards for this staking. You're not going to give a portion of the exchange and you receive a portion. All of this is going to you. So if we go over here and look how much we're going to get rewarded for Ethereum, stakingrewards.com, it looks like 5.3. If you do it on an exchange, I think the last I saw was around 4%. So you're earning a little bit more. All right, so hopefully this video was informative. You learned the steps on how to set up a validator with block staking. Like I said, this is not for everybody. There are risks here. You want to manage those keys and passwords and every, every other thing you need to do securely. I want to thank you for watching. I'll continue to make passive income videos in the crypto space. If you have any suggestions, be happy to look at them. Until next time, thanks for watching. See ya.